Hey guys, it's Tara Radcliffe and welcome to my home. Today I had a few friends call me last minute that said that they want to come over. So I need to make sure that I put together a meal that is not only tasty, but also super fast. So today I'll be showing you how to make three simple dishes that you can put together in less than an hour. I know. <laughs> so I will be showing you how to be making my spiced grilled lamb chops with a parsley salad, my tomato salad with roasted pine nuts and pomegranate molasses, and also crispy pita with chickpeas and yogurt. I'm a little bit of a time crunch as you guys know, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is marinate our lamb. I have about 12 pieces of lamb chops here, and I'm going to be marinating them in about seven spices. So first off, we're going to get about, I wanna say about half a cup of good olive oil. Next, we're going to use half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cardamom, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin. Mm, I love the smell of cumin. It's my favorite spice ever. Love it. And one teaspoon of paprika. Almost out of it because I use it all the time. One teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of good quality salt. I love sea salt. It makes everything taste so good. So we're just gonna give that a good stir. Once we have that all stirred up, we're just going to pour this on our lamb. We're just gonna massage the lamb in the spices. The aromas are absolutely beautiful. Once this gets on the grill, your home or outside of your home, bar barbecue area is gonna smell so good. Your neighbors might even show up. So once that's all on there, we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes at room temperature. So our lamb is marinating and now I want to get into making the tomato salad. First thing is that we're going to be doing is taking out a baking sheet. I put a sheet of parchment paper in there and I have about half a cup of pine nuts. I'm just gonna place that on my parchment paper and I'm going to stick this in the oven for five minutes. Now that we have my pine nuts in the oven, I wanna start chopping my tomatoes. I have about one pound of cherry tomatoes here. We're going to cut them in half. And now we're going to get half of an onion and we're just going to slice it super thin. Once we do that, we're just going to spread that all over our cherry tomatoes. Now we're going to take out our pine nuts, nice and golden, beautiful. Just going to Place that there, let that cool down. Now I have one cup of golden raisins here, and I'm just going to soak it in some apple cider vinegar. This is going to really make or bring out the flavor of the raisins, and it's also going to plump them up so they're not so dry when you use them for the salad. I'm going to massage them. <laughs> massage them. I like, by the way. I love singing when I eat. I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> Puts me in a good mood. Can't take life seriously. You gotta sing any opportunity you get. Now I'm going to add some olive oil to my tomatoes, some salt. So we're just going to give that a quick pause just like that. All right. Now, 
I'm going to add my pine nuts. And I'm going to give that another stir. And then we're going to take some basil. And I just like to just give it a tear on this. I don't like to chop them up. I love big pieces of basil on my dishes. I think it's not only pretty, but it also gives more of a burst of flavor. I also have a little bit more here on the side that I'm gonna put on top. The raisins. So now that I'm done with my cherry tomatoes, I'm going to put it in my serving dish. I'm just going to pour that all in there like that. And I love pre-mixing things in a mixing bowl before putting it into my serving dish because that way it just looks so clean and elegant and it just looks so much more prettier when you're serving it. So do the pre-mixing in one of these and then put it in your serving platter. So now that we're done with that, we're just going to, oh, let's actually do this. We're going to take some pomegranate molasses. We're going to drizzle about two tablespoons on this. It's going to give it such a great tangy but sweet hit of flavor in your dish. Now that we have the pomegranate molasses on there, again, take your basil and just tear that Again, on top, sprinkle it on there. I mean, how could your friends say no to this dish, right? They're gonna be so happy. Light, flavorful, healthy, because we're all on this health kick in LA, right? Nobody wants to put anything back in our bodies anymore. We're just gonna set this to the side. All right, guys, so we're moving on to the next dish, which is the crispy pita with chickpeas and yogurt. This is one of my favorite side dishes to serve with any kind of Mediterranean or Middle Eastern meal because the taste of the yogurt really tastes amazing with the flavorful spices that we use in our dishes. So I have about three pita breads here and I'm just going to cut them in little triangular pieces. I'm gonna take my pita and I'm gonna put that onto my baking sheet. Sprinkle it on top. We're going to take our olive oil, give it a quick drizzle on top, and we're going to put this back in the oven. You got, you're going to want to bake your pita chips for about, I'm gonna say eight to 10 minutes. All right guys, so, now for the next part to this dish, we're going to get a small saucepan, put it to medium high heat. We're going to drizzle some olive oil in there. I'm going to say about two tablespoons. Next, we're going to take some minced garlic. Now I have pre-minced garlic here. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of it, but if you don't have pre-minced garlic, you could just chop up two cloves of garlic. Super, super fine chop. <laughs> now we're going to take our garlic and saute it in the olive oil. We really want to make sure we get a nice golden color to our garlic, which infuses our olive oil. Next, we're going to add one full can of chickpeas. I've already drained these and I've rinsed them. Get the flavors of the olive oil and the chickpeas and the garlic. It smells so good. Once you give that a quick stir, you're going to cover it with water. Just enough water to cover your chickpeas. This is going to fluffen up your chickpeas and get them really 
amazing garlic flavor. Kind of just, I don't know, how do you say this? How do you say? It just plumps it up with a garlic flavor. It's my little trick. <laughs> so we're going to let that boil, and then once it boils, we're going to take it off the stove and let it cool down. So the next thing I want to do is make a cashew topping for my yogurt. I love the taste of cashews with butter. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm going to heat up a small saucepan here, or a small, uh, the hell is this called? I went to culinary school and I still don't know what the hell this is called. <laughs> this thing, <laughs> this is the thing we're going to be baking the cashews on. <laughs> I have about eight tablespoons or one stick of unsalted butter. Now I'm going to add about one cup of chopped cashews. Mix the cashews into our butter. So in the meantime, let's take our pita chips out of the oven. I'm just gonna let that cool down. And as they cool, they're going to get a little bit more crispy and harder, and they're gonna have more of a chippy kind of consistency. Back to the butter. The brown color of the butter and the roastedness of the cashews gives such a beautiful look, you know? I'm a true believer that we all eat with our eyes first. So I want to remove my cashews from whatever this is. <laughs> and we're just going to let that cool down. So now that we have the chickpeas done, we have the cashew done, and the pita done, I just realized that just regular whole fat yogurt tastes much better in this dish. Other than, rather than the Greek yogurt. I could really care less about uh, the tartiness of, of the Greek yogurt in this dish. So regular yogurt, whole fat. We're gonna take one lemon, cut that in half. And I love, this is one of my favorite kitchen tools, my lemon squeezer. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze one whole lemon into my yogurt. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. Stir. Getting there. All right, guys. So the next thing we want to do is make the parsley salad for the grilled nap chops. I love this addition to anything grilled. It just tastes so good, especially when I have a kind of a Mediterranean Middle Eastern flair going on with my menu. I'm going to take my onion. We're going to slice up your purple onion into really thin slices. Now that I have my onion sliced, I'm just going to separate all the little pieces and put it into my mixing bowl. So now I'm going to take my parsley. I can add this to literally anything. It's always like such a great thing to have always stocked in your fridge. Like I always have parsley, I always have cilantro because I feel like it adds such a great pop of flavor to literally any dish. Okay, is there anything better than those colors? Purple and green. Now we're going to take one lemon and we're going to juice that into our parsley. Take one more lemon here. We're going to add one of my favorite spices. It's called somok, or you guys might know it as sumac or something. They usually have these at, at the spice at a Middle Eastern international food store, or you can find it in a specialty store. Sometimes they will carry it at Whole Foods, or um, I don't know, some of your big chain uh, uh, supermarkets. but. Usually you want to go to a Middle Eastern store for this particular spice. Now if you don't have sumac, you can also get, um, just use salt and pepper. But sumac has a wonderful tangy taste that just tastes so good with Mediterranean dishes. I'm going to give that a quick toss. Gorgeous. 
this is going to be a beautiful addition to our lamb chops. Now that we have the parsley salad done, I'm gonna tidy up here a little bit and it's time to grill the lamb chops. I have my grill pan heated to a medium high heat. The smell of the cinnamon on this lamb is phenomenal. Uh, grill these lamb chops for about three minutes on each side. Look at that grill mark. That's what you wait. Uh, look at these beautiful grill marks. That's what you're going to want to see. As tempting as it is to move the chops around as they're grilling, you want to make sure that you don't do that <laughs> because that's going to prevent you from getting gorgeous grill marks that are so pleasing with the eyes. All right guys, so my lamb chops are done. Three minutes on each side is pretty good to get a nice medium rare lamb chop, which is one of my favorite uh, temperatures for that. So we're just going to plate our lamb and let it rest. So my lamb is resting, and now I want to top it off with the parsley and onion salad that I made. All right, let's put this to the side here. Now we're going to plate the yogurt. And then we're going to take our chickpeas and sprinkle that on top. I mean, look how beautiful this looks. A gorgeous color of brown butter. And then we're going to take our cashews with the brown butter and sprinkle that on top. I mean, look how beautiful this looks. A gorgeous color of brown butter. If you, again, have some sumac on you, just sprinkle a little bit on that, of that on top. And then, let's put our pita chips onto a separate dish here. This is going to be such a nice, relaxing day with my friends. We're gonna go sit outside, drink some rosé, and have a wonderful, relaxing Saturday. So that is it. In less than one hour, I was able to put together a meal for my friends and myself to enjoy. I'm going to now take my rosé, I'm gonna go sit outside, soak up the sun, and wait until they arrive. Meanwhile, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more easy, healthy recipes and home tips. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.